about you guys, but when I think side-scrolling shoot-'em-ups, I think the Sega Genesis. You know, I think arcades. I think the 16-bit era. And that's when those games really seemed to take off. You know, they, they were all over the freaking place. Turns out they were in other places, too. You just had to look. I mean, the NES had Silkworm, a shooter where you are yourself, all over the freaking place. So this bad boy was released in 1990. Emphasis on bad boy, because this is one bad boy. Silkworm came at the beginning of that wave of early 90s shoot-'em-ups. And at least as NES shoot-'em-ups go, this is definitely one of the coolest. I mean, it certainly has its issues, it's far from perfect, but the cool things about Silkworm are just too cool to ignore. First, the sticker. Explosions are always awesome, that's a rule. Second, the backgrounds. They're super colorful, and color is always awesome. Also a rule. And third, the design. The only thing cooler than a good video game is a good video game designed to be played with a friend that actually delivers by being better with friends. And explosions with friends are like the best part of being alive. So let's start with the game's main gimmick, its big hook. The thing that makes Silkworm Silkworm is its multiplayer. I mean, it is designed from top to bottom as a multiplayer game. And actually, a really cool multiplayer game too, because each player gets a different vehicle. One gets the helicopter, one gets the Jeep. And actually, each one is a totally different experience, too. So this is one of those games where, like, you know, you and your friends actually get good with one of the two. You know, like, oh, I'm better with the helicopter, so you take the Jeep. That kind of thing. And friends who get good with helicopters together, those are the friends who slay to together. I, they stay together. Those are the friends who stay together. <laughs> Well, the great thing about this whole dual vehicle design thing, it's not just that they're different, it's that they complement each other too. So like the strengths of the helicopter, they actually make up for the weaknesses of the Jeep, and vice versa too. I mean, there are, there are enemies the helicopter might struggle with, but then the Jeep will just annihilate, you know? So, so it's also one of those, hey, I'll take this guy, you take that guy games, which to me are always the most fun kind of games. And again, the fact that it's on the NES, which isn't necessarily a system people think of for shoot 'em ups I think that might be the coolest thing of all. Well, except for the explosions with friends. Nothing's cooler than blowing up strangers with people you love, you guys. So the game has a cool design gimmick. It plays great. It looks awesome. Like I said, I love some of these backgrounds. It's all very colorful like a confetti of, of blood and explosions, which is just the best kind of confetti. What are those issues we talked about earlier? Well, for starters, that focus on multiplayer makes playing this alone a lot less fun. I mean, it's still good, don't get me wrong, but it's nowhere near as fun as when both vehicles are on the screen. And also, it's crazy tough on your own, too. I mean, look, if it weren't for the Game Genie, I would have been f***ed, says every kid ever in 1989. Actually, the game doesn't really evolve that much either. Like, uh... Like, the enemies stay basically the same from level to level. There's not much variation. And eventually those backgrounds start to repeat too, so... Yeah, without the multiplayer elements, Silkworm isn't quite as... Well, it's not quite as Silkworm. Look, I'll be honest, I have never really thought of the NES as a particularly great console for shoot 'em ups I don't know many people who do. Silkworm heard me say that, though, and then it immediately punched me in the face. And twice! And with two different fists! Somehow. I'm not sure how that would work anatomically, but you know what? I, I'm not even mad about it. I had way too much fun, even by myself, which was definitely less awesome, but also indicative of the kind of life that I lead. No one ever wants to play games with me. Bastards. Anyway, game's still pretty awesome. No one wanted to play with me today. Or ever. Except the Game Genie, which will stay by your side forever and always. This is a lesson I learned in 1989, and it's still paying dividends to this day. If you're looking for shoot 'em ups from before blast processing basically took over the genre, well, call up a buddy if you have one, pick the vehicle of your choice, and prepare your eyeballs for the awesomeness that is Silkworm. That's a weird name. For the Nintendo Entertainment System. Why is it called Silkworm? 
Who cares? Game's awesome. Big thanks to our pal Greg from across the hall for telling me I was a pussy for having never played this. Thanks, Greg. Boy, I really like your stupid blue shoes. Oh, my God.